Now, first of all, we discuss the evolution of the mobile communication systems from the 1G to the 4G LTE. Uh, some of you might ask the question that what does this G stand for? This G stand for generation. So 4G means the fourth generation of the mobile communication systems. Uh, it is important to keep this thing in mind that this evolution of the mobile communication systems from the 1G to the 4G was primarily driven by the need of for more and more data rates for the users using the uh, mobile. The 1G systems were uh, analog mobile communication systems. So they, they did not support the uh, data services. So then we move to the 2G mobile communication systems. And GSM is the most uh, widely used and the most widely deployed 2G technology and GPRS uh, is a technology that was uh, added in order to enhance the data rates of the 2G GSM systems and so we call this as the 2.5G technology and in this 2.5G technology that uses GPRS on top of GSM systems uh, the average data rate that a user experienced in the under the normal circumstances it was around 50 kilobits per second then uh, edge technology was introduced and it was used in order to enhance the data rates of the gsm system and we call it as the 2.75 g and in the case of edge the average data rate that a user got under the normal uh, circumstances it was around 150 kilobits per second but the demand for more and more data rate uh, kept on increasing so there was a fundamental shift in the technology and we moved from the 2g systems to the 3g systems so there is a uh, fundamental technology shift between the 2g systems to the 3g systems and in the case of 3G systems, the most widely deployed 3G technology is UMTS. And in the case of 3G UMTS, the average data rate that a user experienced under the normal circumstances, it was around 384 kilobits per second. Uh, and then these 3G UMTS systems were enhanced by uh, introducing HSPA technology on top of the UMTS systems and the average uh, data rate that a user experienced under the normal circumstances it increased to the 10 megabits per second and then HSPA plus technology was uh, used in order to enhance the data rates of the UMTS systems and so the data rate uh, the user experienced data rate then increased to the 2 20 megabits per second then again there was a fundamental shift in the technology and we moved from the 3g systems to the 4g systems lte is a 4g technology and in the case of lte the targeted data rate in the downlink for a single user is 100 megabits per second and the targeted data rate for a user in the uplink is 50 megabits per second uh, but uh, under the realistic uh, conditions or uh, the normal working conditions uh, the data the, uh, the user experience data rate was between 20 to 50 megabits per second and this depending upon the load on the network the congestion in the network and the wireless channel conditions and then this LTE 4G technology evolved into the LTE advanced technology. And in the case of LTE advanced technology, the targeted data rate in the downlink uh, was 1 gigabits per second and the targeted data rate in the uplink was 500 megabits per second. But the actual data rate that a user experienced uh, under the normal circumstances, it was in low hundreds of megabits per second. 